Little Nix called out for copying music while Perry confirms that Zayn broke up over text. Plus, Beyonce gets injured during her performance. And get ready for new Liam Payne music. We've got all that and more on today's rundown. Demi Lovato just had a makeover, and that is coming later in the show. But first, Little Mix finally has new music, and they're not getting the best response. No! Little Mix's long-awaited Shout Out to My Ex is here, and naturally, it's already topping the iTunes chart in the UK. The girls debuted the song when they performed it on the X Factor UK, which fans really loved, considering that Little Mix is a product of the competition show. So just a ton of love for them during their performance. But then everything went majorly downhill. Fans began tweeting about the similarity between Shout Out to My Ex and another song by another girl group. The song is Ugly Heart and it's by GRL. GRL originally broke up after one of their members, Simone Battle, tragically took her own life. And Simone was actually also an X Factor alum. She was a finalist back in 2011. Then she joined GRL, which was intended to be the next generation of the Pussycat Dolls. So already the vibe and the style between GRL and Little Mix is kind of similar, mm -hmm. which is really not helping Little Mix's case. This brand new song everyone's been waiting for, and it was almost immediately after their performance that people started tweeting out that this was a total rip off. What? I know, and it's like, I honestly, I don't know. Like, I, I'm so bad at deciding these things because everyone's like, I hear the similarities, but it's also like, you listen to things all the time and you don't know what's purposeful, what's an accident. So the hashtag shout out to Ugly Heart started trending as a result of this because everyone is basically saying that shout out to my ex is a rip up of Ugly Heart. And GRL's official Twitter account, because the group is actually rebanded, there's a new member in, in place of Simone, they tweeted the hashtag out too, which Ooh, doesn't help things. Well, yeah, it's already it already turns kind of nasty. So basically, it's just a giant mess here. And I mean, I don't know. I'm dying to know what you guys think if this is a ripoff or not. I, you know, I think it's very inspired by because there was a clip also of Perry Edwards lip syncing to Ugly Heart. So I know that the girls were familiar with this song. Who wasn't familiar with this right. song? But I don't. I, I'm always, because I'm a music person, you are too, I always can always see a connection. Yeah. And I listen to both of these songs very closely. And I feel like there is some sort of thematic inspiration, but I don't feel like it sounds exactly alike. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know, I, I think there is gonna be an argument here and I, you know what, bad press isn't bad press right. for a little bit because it's gonna help them sell more music. I think just if, in a chord, if it is decided that it sounds the same, they'll have to just pay some money to the writers of the Ugly Heart track. But I personally feel like they stand alone, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people on the internet don't think so. No, not at all. Well, speaking of Perry Edwards, she also is in the news a little bit today. So she wrote in Little Mix's new Tell All book, just how Zayn broke up with her. And yes, she is back to saying that he did it over a text message. Major ouch, I shouldn't laugh, that's not funny. Zayn, back in the day after they broke up, said this wasn't true at all. He's like, I would never do that. She's sticking to it. She has an official statement. You guys, get ready. She wrote, I found my independence after going through a really rough time. It was horrible, the worst time of my life. A four year relationship, two year engagement ended by a simple text message, just like that. I want to know exactly what that text said. Yeah, I have a feeling that there was probably a conversation after the text message or maybe yeah. before the text message, yeah. but he might have very well just said, it's over, period, in a text message. And you know it's serious if you get a period in a text message. Oh yeah. So that's what I want to see before I believe it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, Zayn has a book coming out, so basically the moral of the story is go buy Zayn's book because you're probably going to want to read it. Leave it to Beyonce to get injured on stage during a concert and just keep going like she were the boss queen that she is or possibly like a robot, like she isn't even real. That's how well she handled this gash. So this weekend marked the second annual Title X charity concert that included a laundry list of A-list performers, including Nicki Minaj and Alicia Keys, and also Beyonce too. So B gave this show-stopping performance that had holograms, shifting shelves that she was dancing on, and her ponytail, of course. But at one point during her performance, 
She actually ripped her earring, I think it was her right ear, she actually ripped it out of her ear, which is kind of a fear of mine, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I was on The Amazing Race, I just didn't wear earrings, so I was so afraid something was gonna yeah. rip my ear off. But it happened to her on stage, and she just handled it like a queen. You guys, she just kept performing. It looked literally like it was choreographed into her performance. So during the show, she she touched it. She stuck her other leg out as if it was like meant to be. And she touched it and she looked and it was bleeding. There was a point in time where I was like, oh my God, is she gonna like lick her finger? Like it looked like she could have just literally been like, like that, Gosh, I no. like. If that would have happened, I would have totally believed the mm -hmm. Illuminati was mm -hmm. behind it. But you guys, all of that said, she looked like a pro. She just kept going. Mad props to her because if I saw myself bleeding, I would probably freak out a little bit. She also performed several of the spoken word poems from Lemonade, as well as a really killer performance of Six Inch before slowing it down for all night. And at the close of the show, she actually took a second to remind everyone the importance of voting, saying, quote, it can be easy to feel helpless and I wanna just block the world out, but doing nothing right now is not an option, y'all. I know it seems like things are bad, but if you think they can't get worse, just ask your grandparents. And then she continues to say how, you know, we didn't always have the right to vote, like women right. didn't. African American people didn't have the right to vote so that we all should exercise our right and I totally agree with her. Well, another X Factor alum. Mm -hmm. A lot of X Factor in the news today, A lot of right? news, yeah. This time it's about Liam Payne and he has got a brand new record deal which means new music and it's awesome. So Liam Payne is the latest One Directioner to take a step in the solo direction. He has officially signed with Republic Records and they've already said that we're gonna get new music from him soon. CEO Monty Lipman released a statement saying, being a member of the most successful group of the last decade, Liam has a tremendous opportunity to make an even greater impact on pop culture. Mm. We're honored by Liam's decision to join Republic Records and have extremely high expectations for his solo career. This is awesome. I just love that they have really taken very individual steps Reps. in different directions. Mm. And that also Niall said that um, they would be coming back to do music as a group too, because that's literally like the best of both worlds. I mean, that's the dream, right? For every directioner out there that they'll get back together and they'll also mm. get solo individual albums. I hope that happens. I'm really glad that Liam has this deal though, because Liam's my favorite. He always has he been. Is? Yeah, Aww. I don't know. There's just something like sweet about God, him. He's so cute. And you know, he does like some rapping a little bit. He does some R&B stuff. So yeah. I think it'll sound very unique to Liam, which was my only critique about Niall's new song. It kind of sounded a little like a One Direction song. So I think Liam will take this career in a whole new direction for himself. I'm so excited about this. Do blondes really have more fun? Well, probably now that Demi Lovato has dyed her hair blonde again, you guys. So she took to Instagram to show off her new do. She captioned this selfie with Goldilocks. I'd say Goldilocks personally, uh, but she's done this before you guys. She's been blonde before and also a couple of weeks ago Demi made a statement saying that she wanted to take a whole break from the business. Um, she basically said she wasn't built to be a celebrity, but now she is definitely out of retirement. She's been posting up all over social media. She performed in Mexico City to 15,000 people. She debuted her new blonde hair there. She looked killer. So what do you think of her new hair? Well, I just feel like she should have called me and told me that she was gonna change our look because. Oh yeah, now you, know? you have to make a big change and you didn't weren't consulted. No, I mean like she has to know by now that we are soulmates. Soulmates, so I just, I'm a little offended that she didn't call me and said, hey girl, I'm changing my hair, it's gonna be blonde, like just heads up. Well, I think you should probably go ahead and get it changed soon because she's already ahead of you. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. She looks great though, so I She I does look be, great. Can't be that mad. And do you think she's actually going to take a real break anytime soon? No, you guys, no. If you are a celebrity at the level of Demi Lovato, it's almost impossible for you to do something different and to not want to keep doing it because you build a fan base. All of your fans are there waiting for your next move. Yeah. Like you have to treat them with some yeah. sort of 
respect, love and respect. Usually when celebrities actually take a break, they haven't announced that they've gonna take a, that they're gonna take a break, um. you know? I think that when they say like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, it's just them venting, which is fine, power to you, get it out, get it out on paper. That's what my mom always said, get it out on paper. But I feel like, I would love for everyone to stop saying that they're gonna stop from, so she, first she said she was gonna take a break from social media, then she said she was gonna take a break from singing altogether. It just doesn't seem like that's the case, so I just, maybe she just needs a minute. Well, if you were looking forward to new music from Little Mix, I'm sorry that this isn't the best way to welcome that, but I'm dying to know what you think about Shout Out To My Ex, and if you think that it sounds like GRL's Ugly Heart. I don't think so, but regardless, this song is sickening. It yeah. is amazing. Also, you guys, Beyonce, she slayed. She performed like the queen that she is. But what would you have done if you had snagged your earring out of your ear and were bleeding during a show? Would you have handled it like Beyonce? I probably would have ran away. I would have cried. For sure. I would have just stopped and cried because I'm a weak, a weak, weak, weak link. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. me. Uh, cry baby. But you guys, let us know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with us every single day on the dirt. We'll be back tomorrow. Kendall Jenner stands up to her stalker in that box on the left. And did Drake cheat on Rihanna? Because we have all those details in the box on the right.